Welcome to another episode of Condos and Cars. We're here today in beautiful Los Angeles. It's a sunny afternoon, and we're in a 1965 Porsche 356 Speedster, one of the all-time great cars ever made. We are going to pick up a colleague of mine, Naomi Klein, who's a broker here in the LA market. She's going to give us a tour of a new development condo in the Pacific Palisades. So I'm really excited to see uh, my first LA condo ever. I've, I've never been in a condo here in LA, so I'm excited to check it out. Naomi. Hi. So good to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome to this This is incredible. We what are, a day we have. I, yes, I, I planned all of this, the sunshine and everything. Beautiful. So what are we seeing today? Today we're going to go see a new construction that's just up the coast, and it's beautiful. It's a three bed, three bath, over 4,000 square feet wow. to die for views of the water, you you will not want to go back to New York. Did they have CD players when this car was made? Added feature. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's really great at Compass. We met at the retreat in, my, retreat. in Miami. That was the best and retreat. And it was like, hey, I'm going to be coming to LA in two months. Let's collaborate on something. And here we are. Yes. And, Compass you know, is amazing with that. Yeah. I, no other firm that I've ever worked at would, would people be oh. open to you know, exchanging ideas and, and creating content like this. When you collaborate, two minds, I feel, can cover so much more. So One plus one equals three. One plus one equals three. I like that. <laughs> what was your journey into real estate? So my grandfather, my grandparents actually came here from Europe and uh, they had nothing. No family, no money, no language. But my grandfather knew through being in Europe, real estate. So he started... Real estate is universal. Real estate is universal, absolutely. And so he started investing in properties and I learned that from a very young age. My parents did the same and I'm the only one that sells it. Everyone else buys it. <laughs> There's less risk in just selling it. You're not holding any of your own capital. Ex exactly. So in the, speaking in very broad terms, what are some of the very hot pockets of the market and where are some parts of the market in LA that are struggling right now? I would say the condo market in general is a little soft right now. Okay. Homes and, you know, they're, they're, they're really moving. Condos so, market soft because there's a lot of inventory? There's a lot of inventory and people want to, they want a home. Okay, how spirited of a drive have you gotten before? Maximum speed. Maximum speed. Um, 158 on a street on a street and where was the street um, it was on the Merritt Parkway right where Connecticut and New York meet okay and is that a normal thoroughfare for race car drivers no <laughs> no just Martin I saw an opening so I took it <laughs> you would love you would love the drive from LA to Vegas because yes, it's I've done it okay I've done it you haven't punched yeah. it up on that I trip? was in a minivan <laughs> so it's this new construction. Wow. These condos will be hitting the market soon. They're priced anywhere from three to seven million. Wow. And in the city of the Palisades, where Rick Caruso, he was a developer for the Grove, he did some, uh, keep going straight. He also put in a beautiful little area in the Palisades. So welcome to One Coast in Pacific Palisades. I don't think you have these views in New York, we right? We do not have these views in New York. This is absolutely incredible. This is a three bed, two bath, almost 4,000 square feet. It's listed, it will most likely be around five and a half million. Okay. What they're going to do, which is very nice, with new construction, which is very rare in the Palisades, or even Los Angeles, is have concierge services, 24-hour full-time security, so mm. you can really just come here. If you're bi-coastal, it's a great spot. If you want to get away from the city and just look at the ocean, you're here. So you've got PCH, we're just above, as you know, sunset, 10 minutes from Malibu, mm. but you're a little more where it's central. You just go up sunset and you get everything that the Palisades has to offer. All right, so now let's come inside and see what this condo is all about. Because it is two levels. Okay. And when you see the master, you've got just panoramic views of the water. 
you will not want to go back to New York. I feel like master of the universe there? Pretty much. So with 4,000 square feet, to have an open space downstairs is really nice. Mm -hmm. Well, the views are incredible. I mean, they're just from, from every room in here. So you have Wolf appliances from the stove, the Sub-Zero fridge, the coffee maker. So let's take a look at the guest room downstairs. And what's nice too, it's a condo and you're not walking into a living room. So you have an entry space, you have your living space, you have a bedroom downstairs, two bedrooms upstairs. I feel like I'm in a home here. Yeah, this does not I mean, feel like a condo. Yeah, you're almost 4,000 square feet. You have washer dryer inside, which is fantastic, and a washer dryer room. This is the guest room, the first guest room downstairs. These proportions so, are great. I mean, even right. for a guest room, like coming from New York. So we'll go upstairs, we'll take a look at the master and the second guest room. So we have a nice little landing here. They put a pool table. I mean, it's usable space. You're not losing a lot of space and square footage mm -hmm. with the stairway. Which this would be is a nice. really great informal living area too. Oh, this would be great. Yeah. This would be a great office, reading area, lounge. And again, you have outdoor living right off of this room. Yes, a little bit under construction, but this is, this is one of the units that does have its private patio mm -hmm. in back, which is nice. The second guest room. Don't look right yet, <laughs> just left. So you have, again, bathroom, all of your bedrooms are on suites. You have this guest bedroom, you're looking at the water from this room, which is wonderful. Welcome to the master. Views that are- Those views? They, look at that. They're just, <laughs> Martin's never leaving. I, can't, I feel like I'm on a cruise ship. That's what this you know, view looks like. You know, a lot like. of, in properties that have water views, you do feel at times that you're and I meant that in the ship. best way possible. Yeah. yeah. You don't have the flamingo dancers, but they do have concierge, so Perfect. you can just order whatever you want. And that is another feature that, that they have, which is nice. So someone to do and pick up dry cleaning, run errands, be a porter, all of that. And then you have your private balcony here. And before we go outside, I'll just show you the his and her or her and her closet. <laughs> he can have one in the guest room. So you have the master here, which again, thoughtful design, which, you know, access as much of the water as you possibly can. Yeah, what would this sell for in New York, this, this walk-in closet? You could sell that for 400 grand if it was in <laughs> Soho. <laughs> and then you have his closet on this side, a little smaller, but. Still plentiful. Yes. What a great place to have coffee in the morning. So what do you get? You get the sunrise Sunrise over here? Sunrise is in the east to okay. the left, and then it sets over here. here. This was incredible. Thank you for touring me through here. It was really Thank exciting to, to see this. You know, this is obviously something very foreign that I'm used to, to seeing. So let's go hit Nobu for lunch. You don't have to ask me twice. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>